what I'm going to do is put all this stuff back together and put a little bit of this brake lube on this plate. Just a little bit, I guess. Keep things moving a little bit easier. Here's a salt truck. We're having a big ice storm outside. So I put on these pads that the that the uh, that the brake shoes ride on. Um, I hit this up with a wire brush a little bit and sprayed some brake clean uh, brake cleaner stuff on there to get rid of all the dust. Well, some of the dust. Um, and once I'm done with this, there. Okay. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is take this shoe. Um, I didn't take this off, but basically. That's like I said before, just the little lever that uh, for the self adjuster, and all you do is pop that, pop this spring off, pop the spring back, and then move that back out, and it comes apart. Um, so first thing you want to do is get the parking brake lever and put it into the little hole here, like that, and now we need a pin that goes through the back like like that and retainer and spring to put these back together this tool, I don't know I can't seem to work it so I just use vice grips and grab onto this like that you don't want to do it too tight and crush it You gotta hold the little pin in the back. Take this, put it on. Oops. And sometimes it doesn't cooperate. Do the same thing with the other shoe. Pin. Spring. Oops. Here we go. Before I get much further, we'll put this in. This is that bar that rides on the parking brake lever. Goes in there, and then the other side goes right there. You gotta make sure you have it going the right way. I think the little thingy on the spring goes up. The short side of the spring goes against there. So if you did it like that, then you'd have that going on. And then the little hump goes up. So, maybe better put this side on first. Probably should have put it on before the other stuff. Lay 
right there for right now. Oops, stay. Um, we'll put this on. Okay. How to get this on stuck? This was stuck in there. Put a little tiny bit of that lube on the threads here. Hate to put too much of any kind of lubricant in here because it's so dusty. You think it would just it, um, attract all the dust and make sludge, but we'll see. This spring that holds the bottom shoes together in. Just hook that right on there. There we go. Good. Next thing is salt truck again. Next thing is uh, this. Make sure it goes on the right way. If it goes like this with the crimped part in, then it, I'm thinking that's not right because then the, the little spring thingies on the back uh, seems to be on backwards there. So, we'll put this on like this with, so you can see the wire all the way up to the uh, connector here. Put that oh, all the way up there. Um, next thing, put the next spring in, which goes, just hooks right in there like that. And, oops, I can't forget this. This, um, holds the, uh, I think it holds these shoes back and also keeps this back there and then the springs go in front of it to hold it all into place. So, put that there. You gotta try to hold all this stuff together at once. Get your spring tool. That little divot there fits right on here. So you hook it, your spring in there. Put the little divot on the thing that sticks out. Try to keep this in place without smashing your fingers like that. There. The next spring will hold that all together. But what we gotta do is put the retainer on there, or the so whatever you call this thing, the little guide. So this rides on there like that, and then this little part right here goes into the shoe. So put that on there put the wire on top extra tension on this thing what was happening was this plate was popping out which and the wire would loosen up and uh, all the um, make the automatic adjuster all loose so I stuck a couple little tiny washers on there just to give it a little extra pressure on the plate and that seemed to make it stop so hopefully I don't know why you would have to do that let's try this Put it through her. Put it through here first. Then up there. There we go. 
This is probably the trickiest part. There. Good. That's on there. Now we take all this mess and push it all together. And you got to make sure that this plate is where it should be and the spring is on in place and fitting together on that shoe. Make sure that your self adjuster wire is okay. Riding up again uh, on the edge of that thing. Um, and that your wires aren't all crushed up or anything. Get your spring tool. Pull the slack out of that a little bit. There. There. That's it. Everything's on there good. Now, last piece is to hook this on to this little arm down here. It hooks right onto a little ledge right there, little hook area. And this piece of metal fits right in this slot here. So, we'll grab this end. Push this lever up. Get in there. Maybe. There we go. Yeah. All right, that's it. Everything's in the right order. Springs are all good. Everything, all your retaining stuff's on. Now all it's left to do is put the drum on, adjust it, and hopefully we'll be good to go. That's it. Thanks.